And the Wall Street Journal reports from the Say It Ain't So file, the largest toy store chain in the U.S., Toys R Us, has filed for bankruptcy protection. The Chapter 11 filing overnight is among the largest ever by a specialty retailer. Now it comes as Toys R Us is gearing up for the holiday shopping season, which accounts for most of its sales. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with what this means for the future of the retail giant. Jill, good morning. I'm thinking of Jeffrey the giraffe. I'm thinking of all the I want to be a Toys R Us kids. Wondering, how did this happen? You know, it looks like competition, obviously. We know that from Walmart, Target, big boxes like that have really eaten into the business, also Amazon. But I should also note that this company was taken private back in 2005, and it, was done, and it went private with borrowed money. So the company has $5 billion of long-term debt. No matter how well you're doing, that's an awfully big load to carry. What does it mean for the stores and for the employees? Well, there are currently 1,600 stores, and it looks like some of the underperforming stores will likely close down during this restructuring process. But the CEO said, hey, we are open for the holidays. They didn't mention anything about laying people off, but they're going to try to use this holiday season and a restructuring of debt to try to reinvigorate the brand. Okay, is this an example of private equity going bad? Probably. Um, it may be one of those in cases, and we saw this back with the Sears story. Now, Sears is not bankrupt, but remember, a similar story, a big private equity firm, which is essentially an amalgamation of wealthy people who want to make an investment in a company, take that company, borrow debt to buy that company, and then try to operate the company. Now, the problem is that in doing so, they have less money to invest in the company itself, right? Because we're servicing debt. So this is a problem. Can I go to a problem we discussed in the story earlier than the story about Toys R Us, which is the Equifax situation? Sure. What do people who are worried that they have been exposed do. Okay, so let's, let's talk just, about this before. Okay, so we've done this before. So can we do three big pieces here? Go to Equ EquifaxSecurity2017.com. That is the website. You see whether or not you've been compromised. You then put a free fraud alert on your credit file. You can do that with Equifax, Experian, or TransUnion. Then the last step, if you can, you may want to choose to freeze your credit. This will lock down your file. This also means that you yourself cannot apply for new credit. So if you're in the process of maybe applying for student loans, FAFSA forms are available on October 1st, a car loan, a mortgage, don't freeze your file. But if you don't need credit, if you like your existing credit, keep what you have. I just want to go to Toys R Us. Go, to, all right, go, go, go. Let's keep Jeffrey alive. Yes, I always like that store. Thank you, Jill. Sure. Thank you, Jill.